welcome to the Effortlessly Abundant Life Podcast, where we will dive into the mindset, spirituality, and practical tools to have more of what you want with less effort. I'm your host, Natalia, a mindset shifter, certified life and success coach, and hypnotherapist who is obsessed with making your life feel good from the inside out. So let's dive in in today's episode in three, two, Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome to another episode of Effortlessly Abundant Life. I'm your host, Natalia, a certified mindset and hypnotherapist who helps you, those who are feeling tired of hustling, of pushing, of working hard, of being disappointed, of feeling always anxious to a place where are they manifesting and living their dream life, having the thing that they always dream to have, if it's more money, if it's more abundance, if it's a relationship that they always wanted to have, if it's that fulfillment, if it's being on stage or off stage, whatever that is that you want with more ease, more harmony, and actually more fun and being you. So speaking of that, today we're going to talk about how we can manifest anything that we want by being ourselves and what it actually means and how actually to do it and all these great stuff. So before we're going to dive in, a little quick life update for you. (laughs) So last week, I had the amazing opportunity to perform in Carnegie Hall in New York City. How wild is that? Um, So a quick story for you, and this is like such a great example of how we never know when that is that thing that we wish for is going to happen and how it's going to happen. So for those who don't know, I'm also a professional opera singer and I do now more crossover singing. I do private events and charity events and um, I perform in America's Got Talent and I, I'm a performer, right? I've always been a performer. I'm a singer. And I went to school for that. I did my undergrad and master's in music education and performance. So This is something that is part of me. And when I kind of been in more into that life, being full-time performer, full-time singer, I remember just walking from a lesson that I had, a vocal lesson, and just looking into this beautiful building of Carnegie Hall. If you've never been there, it's just such a beautiful, iconic building, right? 157 7th Avenue. And it's right next to Central Park. It's just this beautiful, iconic building that held and been a home for so many amazing singers and artists in in, in the entire world. And I just remember walking there and saying to myself, one day I will perform in this hall. One day. (laughs) and that day was last week and it's actually came to me through a foundation uh it's called the renowned foundation which supports um classical trained singers and performers and musicians in uh actually in israel and also in united states for 30 years and the founder yafa lost her child who was a violinist who always kind of had this um, love and passion for classical music and fortunately passed away from, uh, I don't remember what, but uh, it was a bad disease. And um, she created all this foundation and she, that's her life purpose to really help people. And this night was dedicated to fundraise more money for more artists. And um, I had the honor to be part of that. So it was such a magical time. And I got to tell you, I met some long-term colleagues that I kind of remembered and we performed in the past, but just kind of like that full closure and kind of full circle of meeting them in the place where I am now, where I feel more myself and I feel much a better performer, much better singer now. I don't feel, and it's weird, I didn't feel nervous at all. It wasn't that feeling of, oh my God, what, you know, I didn't feel any of that. I just trusted my voice, trusted my body, trusted myself that everything that I need, I have, and it's enough. And I'm just allowing myself to enjoy this. And I really, really remember just enjoying it. 
And I, if you would tell me that, like even seven years ago, five years ago, I would lose my shit. I would probably practice every second. I would have probably anxiety attack, stage fright, all the things. But it's so nice to be present, to enjoy your instrument with none of that bullshit that goes through our minds of what they're going to think or is my voice is going to be there or are going to be able to hit that high note in pianissimo. No, 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 no. It all happened. And that level of trust, this is why people kind of ask, why did you move from teaching only musicians and, and, and vocalists to doing more mindset coaching? Is because I attune actually my success as a performer on stage and off stage and literally every area in my life, if it's my relationship, if it's money, money, if it's money, money, if it's um, just being healthier, if it's just feeling better and that long lasting in kind of fulfillment, right? That peace, that harmony, that joy, that bliss. I attune it to mindset, that shift that I created for myself and my clients it just changes life. It just changes everything. And also you as a singer, your instrument is your body, your mind, your voice, your soul. So if you only kind of addressing just the voice and just taking vocal lessons, it's just not enough. So I am so blessed to have that. So this is a little story for you. So if you are a performer and you still have that kind of like, oh, I wish I want, I, I wish I could sing somewhere or do that kind of gig or do that or do this. I want you to remember, even even if you're a mom, if you're a parent, if you have a job and you completely kind of do something else, but you have that little thing that still is there, go pursue it. Okay. It's okay to do multiple things at once. It's okay to want different things. It's okay to kind of dip your feet in different waters, I guess. <laughs> so allow yourself and give yourself that gift to express yourself without any agenda or what is I'm going to get out of it, you know, just for the sake of just because, just because I want to. Speaking of that. Let's dive into today's episode because, you know, we can start one thing and go to the next. But here is the deal. After years, you know, and I've been to the self-development since I was 20 years old. That's where I really got myself into every book that I could read, learning about how the brain works, the secret, you know, law of, uh, law of attraction and all these things that we know of. I went to even Tony Robbins seminars that were life transforming. Um, but the things that he talked about, and you probably know what I'm talking about if you ever attend one of his seminars or you learned from him, is if you want to achieve anything in your life, right, you need to find that model. You need to find almost like a proof of somebody that already did it and copy their way of doing it and how they got there. Look, how, what was their journey? What are the steps they took in order to get there? And I remember, and and I really, you know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I found somebody, but it's not really exactly what I want, but okay, they have the results that I want. So let me just copy whatever they did. So I hired the coaches, I listened to everybody and I still didn't get the results. And I was frustrated. I was mad. I was angry. And I was disappointed in myself because I felt like I'm a failure. Something is wrong with me. After truly years of investigating and trying and, and doing so many different things, I got to that conclusion that you, me, your neighbor, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your friend, your colleague, doesn't matter. We are all so, so different and unique. You know that your fingerprint is so unique. Therefore, your energy is so unique. Therefore, your way of manifesting whatever that is that you want is unique to you. And there's no one way or one process that fits all. It's just, there's, it, it's not possible. And this is why for years we're trying if you're trying to, I don't know, get more money, 
And let's say you you learn from a person says, oh, I just worked really, 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 really hard. And I sacrificed my time with my family and my health in order to get that money. Is this the way you want to do it? Probably not. And there are different, there are bazillion ways to get to one way, to the, the results that we want. And as we know, the result is not the price. The way, the journey, the enjoyment, the becoming, the unfolding, the evolving, the expansion is the price. So why not get whatever that is that we want with more ease, with more fun? And you're almost like you're already winning along the way because you're enjoying, you're having fun. You feel at peace. You feel clean. You feel it's aligned. And when you ever get that thing, it's like, oh, okay. But you're not putting all your weight on it, if that makes sense. By the way, I'm drinking some matcha latte. So that's much needed. <laughs> so I want to remind you that you're not crazy. You're not failing. Nothing is wrong with you. The only thing that is something that we can do better at is stop putting other people's opinions and ways and, t and strategies and all this kind of like mind-driven, masculine energy on a pedestal more than who we are and our soul and our intuition and our energy and our body. This is the key because all the abundance you're craving, and again, abundance is not just money. It could be abundance in every area in your life, right? Abundance of love, abundance of money, abundance of health, abundance of fulfillment, of success, whatever that is that you crave is already lives within you. And by actually being who you are, who you are. You're designed to be who you are. Trust me, source doesn't make mistakes. If you are born the way you are meant to be, with the personality you have, with the body that you have, with the character that you have, with everything that makes of you, there is a reason for that. It's almost saying to a flower that is being growing right now, oh, you need to look like that flower in order to be successful. But no, a flower of that specific flower can be only like a rose can be only a rose, right? And the more a rose is a rose and it's not trying to be a tree or a lilac or something else, it's going to thrive better, right? And it's still going to get the water that it needs. It's still going to get the sun that it needs and the nourishments that it needs because it's who it is. You are also a flower, a unique flower. Even though you might look like somebody else, maybe you remind of somebody else, it doesn't matter, but you are so, so unique. And when we are actually attuning to that, when we align to that, we are trusted that this is enough and we lean into that and we stop finding ourselves by saying, oh, maybe I'm not enough. Oh, I need to change that. Oh, I need to do better in this. And always feeling like that lack, 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 lack. And more into like, you know what? I'm going to own who I am. I'm going to actually listen to my internal guidance that is given to me. And instead of fight, fight, fighting it, I'm actually going to accept it and listen to it and trust it and see what happens. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert that only amazing things are going to happen. We've been told a really terrible lie that our intuition and our soul and the gut feeling is a lie that we cannot trust our emotions, that it's not reliable. We cannot trust our gut. That's not realistic. That's not reasonable. 
We need to trust the mind. The mind is going to keep you safe. Really? How are we doing so far with that? <laughs> and that's so good, right? Because the more we detaching ourselves from our soul, from our compass, from that northern star that was given to each and every one of us, the more we are going to feel not alone. We're going to feel aligned. We're going to feel supported. We're going to feel guided. We're not meant to do this whole thing alone. And our mind is so limited in what it perceives and what it knows versus the heart that is just this magnitude of infinite wisdom, infinite wisdom that might not be logical, but is 100% accurate. So just kind of like understanding that we're all built so uniquely different. And one of the ways for a self to actually own who we are is actually let go of what we think we are. That persona, that mask that we put on ourselves, that keeps us safe, that keeps us feeling of good. That I see so many people holding on to that mask for dear life and afraid to actually be who they really are because they're afraid to be perceived and be judged or even be rejected for who they are. So they rather be rejected with that mask. But I'm here to tell you that you're not a mistake. Nothing is wrong with you. If anything, everything is so amazing about you. And the world wants to see who you really, really are. Nobody wants to see a mask. Nobody wants to, everybody feels that too right away. You can't truly trick anybody. And the more you shine and you own who you are and you are radiate and you express it unapologetically and you are following yourself and your intuition and what you are, you are magnetic. You're magnetic. People want to be near you because that authenticity and that sense of, ooh, I, I, I can breathe again because I don't feel there is any funny thing going on. I just feel there's just... I can just be myself around that person because they are themselves. So I don't need to play any game here. So I want you to be honest with yourself. What is no longer working for you? What is that thing that feels so heavy on you? That persona, that job, that person, that relationship, that decision you made, that thing you do. What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to forgive yourself and not punish yourself? Spend time alone. Spend time alone. Spend time alone with yourself to really reconnect to yourself and disconnect from all the outside noise that keeps you jumping from place to place, from thought to thought, and try to please everybody, but not be in your own center. And yes, meditate. Learn to be in quiet, in stillness with yourself. If you don't know how to do that and you can't do that, you need it more than you think you need it. <laughs> even if you hate it. Even if you say, it doesn't work for me. Well, start with guided meditation. Do breath work. Do hypnotherapy. Do something, start with something that is going to slowly transition you into that place of stillness that you can sit down for yourself for five minutes and be okay with thoughts and feelings moving through you. Because if we're always going to push away a thought that doesn't feel good or a feeling that doesn't feel good, you're not going to live. You're always going to be in... <gasps> Just want to push, 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 push things out of me and not move through things and get out of them. 
So you can experience that sense of freedom and not feel like you are afraid of your feelings or afraid of your thoughts or afraid of yourself. And you actually are willing to listen to yourself and your intuition and things that come to you. And this is something that I really highly recommend. Maybe take yourself on a stay vacation, even for a weekend, just with yourself. Forget about your phone, forget about social media, forget about answering phone calls, unless it's obviously an emergency. But just tune in with yourself. Go nature. Just breathe in, breathe out. Spend time with yourself. And through that, you're going to be able to listen to your body. You're going to be aware of your body more. Your attention is not going to be outwards. It's going to be more inwards. You're going to be more sensitive of how you of how you feel. And this is something that I do with my clients in human design. Human design is an amazing tool, and it's a tool to really help us to reconnect, to understand how our energy centers work. And it's amazing, like each map of each person is unique, right? It's very unique. It combines Kabbalah, astrology, neurology, and it's a complex system, but yet it helps you in a very easy way to tune in to your energy type, your authority, and understand how you perceive energy, how you allow energy to move through you, and how you can receive more abundance with effortless, effortlessly and not feel like it's a struggle. And you can understand how you actually are operating, how you make decisions, how, how you can know if it's right for you, if it's not right for you. It's super life-changing, and it changed my life. And this is actually what I'm offering to 10 people and it's only limited to the first 10 people who are going to message me either through my Instagram or my email address effortlessly at gmail.com or at Instagram you can just DM me at effortlessly abundant life and uh, message me abundance code so you can enter and be part of those 10 people who are going to receive a reading from me level one and level two in human design. And of course, I'm adding more stuff. It's not just human design reading. It's so much more than that. But I'm teaching you how you are meant to receive abundance with ease. How? Who you are. <laughs> so it can give you more clarity because sometimes we just don't know what we are and who we are and what is right, what is wrong. And when you're going to start understanding that, how you make decisions, how you should move throughout the day, what what you should, how you know if it's the right move for you or not what the right move for you. It's going to make you so much more powerful because you're going to know how to move through life. You're going to have that compass. You're going to have that confidence. Okay, so it's also available for 10 people, as I said, for a very discounted price for only $111. It's unheard of, okay? So grab it if you can. I already have people messaging me, so know the time the spots are filling up quick. So don't wait on it. Um, message me, and I'll let you know as soon as possible if you are part of the 10 or not. Um, but trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's it's life-changing, and it's really going to give you that clarity. Um, so, as I said, use human design to really understand who you are, how you operate, what energy type are you, what's your authority, how you make decisions. It's very, 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 very helpful. Another trick that is going to help you to attract more abundance with ease just by being who you are is looking into your past looking into what worked for you in the past. Because yes, we had a lot of stuff that weren't working, but we also had stuff that actually worked and we manifested. Because <laughs> guess what? We're manifesting all the time. Sometimes we're just not aware of how we did it. We can really uh, scale it, let's put it that way. But I want you to take a second and write down a moment, um, a thing, a goal, or something that you wanted and wished for yourself 
that happened for you in the past. Maybe when you were a little kid or a teenager or in your 20s, what doesn't matter. Write it down. And if you can reverse engineer it, what happened? What did you do? What were you feeling? Who are you surrounding yourself with? What kind of actions you took or non-actions you took? What kind of decisions you made? Okay? Be very kind of reflective. Just kind of zoom yourself out of the situation as a third person and kind of see this picture and see what actually worked, what didn't work. And you're going to be amazed that, oh, so this is what worked for me. And instead of thinking, oh, this is just good luck or just happened. No, there is a method to that that works for you. This is this is your abundance code. This is your way of manifesting things. Okay. So look into the past to scale your future, I would say. <laughs> Also, one of the things that, as I said, when we are tuning into our body, we're tuning into our intuition, we're tuning into our own silence and our center, your body is the most important indicator of what is actually meant for you. Because, you know, the mind can trick you and tell you things, but the body knows because the body is connected to your subconscious. So when something doesn't feel good, your body will tell you. You're going to feel it in your chest. You're going to feel it in your stomach. Maybe you're going to feel it in your throat. There is something that is not going to feel good. And a lot of time we suppress that. We don't think about it because it's like, ah, whatever. Like push it out of the way so you can move forward and, and, and hustle and just grind and do more and more and more. No, 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 no. This is a sign that you're not meant to be there. You're not meant to do this. And it's not time to push. If anything, it's time to listen and stop. When you are meant to do something, you're going to know it in a very deep sense. There's not going to be any conflict in your body. It's not going to be in your mind, yes, in your body, no. It's going to be yes, in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your body. And that's how you know it's a yes. For some people, it's going to feel exciting. For some people, it's going to feel good and peaceful and harmony. So you really need to kind of, again, from self-discovery and that really sense of tuning into your body and yourself, you're going to start noticing and knowing how, what is aligned, what doesn't feel aligned. And by the way, intuition, it's, it's your body too, right? Your body is your intuition. So when your body feels like you feel that, ugh, that wave of something bad around a certain person, hmm, there is something there. Don't doubt that. Don't rationalize it. Trust it. And this is the thing, okay? If you want to manifest anything you want in your unique way, you have to trust yourself. You have to know that your body and your intuition is enough for you to know that you're meant to do it or not meant to do it, or you need to do this or you're not meant to do that. It's enough. You don't need to explain it to yourself. You don't need to explain it to other people. You just have to trust it and start with little things. Don't start with like making big life decisions because it's just going to feel too much and overwhelming, but start with like, hmm. What I feel like eating today, what I feel like doing today, what I feel like kind of what kind of road I feel like taking today, what kind of person I feel like calling today. You see what I'm saying? So by doing that, you start to trust that intuition and then your intuition is going to start being louder and louder and louder because where your focus goes, your energy flows. And when you're flowing into that trust, into that intuition, it's going to speak to you more louder and more clearer. And it's a relationship that is going to become so fulfilling for you. And all the answers that you ever wanted and all the strategies for your business and your sales job and, and your relationship and the money and everything is going to come from you 
and it's going to feel effortless because it's coming from you and you're not resisting it and you're just following that and it just feels enjoying because there's no conflict between your heart, your mind, your body, everything. It's just going to feel like, oh, okay, it feels easy. And you'll see little by little things are going to start working out. Things are going to make sense. Things are going to just kind of, ooh, happened <laughs> out of nowhere. And most important thing, every night when you're going to go to sleep, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel at peace. Because in the end of the day, we will never be mad at ourselves for trusting ourselves and our intuition. Never. We're going to always going to be mad and frustrated that we took somebody else's advice and opinion and made it more important than our own. And we didn't actually trust ourselves. Self betrayal is the worst feeling in the world. Because you're living with yourself 24-7, right? You can't avoid that. So when all the noise and all the things around you kind of subside and you're with, you're with yourself, you are the most important relationship with yourself. And when you cannot even trust yourself, what do you have? You have nothing. So I highly encourage you, my loves, to and give you that permission slip to let go of all the noise, let go of all the coaches, let go of all the things that people tell you you should do, your parents, your colleagues, your mentors, I don't care who it is. And put your own, own opinion, own feelings and gut feelings and everything that you know in your heart, in your soul to be the most important thing. And trust that this is the right way, that it is enough. And it's going to only lead you to magical, beautiful things that actually meant for you. So stop comparing yourself with other people. Stop thinking that the result in this or that is going to make you happy, the Lamborghini, the money, the whatever. No, the happiness comes from that feeling of actually owning who you are enjoying living in who you are, right? Enjoying that journey, enjoying following your intuition, enjoying that and connecting to that. That is the most fulfilling thing. And then of course, everything is going to come to you, but it's not going to even matter because your attachment is not towards all these external things. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be that. It's going to be your core, your center, your soul, so I hope it gave you guys some clarity of what is important and understand that you are your own source of abundance and you are meant to do it in your unique way. And the only way to do it is tuning, tuning in. And I am so happy to, uh, to be able to offer this amazing opportunity to work with me one-on-one -on -one in a single session for only $111 for the first 10 people. So if you feel aligned, if you feel called to learn more about how you can do this for yourself and have more guidance, because I'm not one of those coaches is going to tell you what to do ever, 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 ever. I not one of those mentors and spiritual mentors who talk about, oh, this is what you should do, or this is like making myself important. No, it's about, I want you to, I want to help you empower yourself and empower your inner voice. So this is becomes your North and star that is guiding you through every challenge and everything that you need and you want in your life. So as I said, if you want to learn more, if you want to be part of those 10 first people, the lucky people who are getting a single session with me for only $111, go ahead to my Instagram at Effortlessly Abundant Life and DM me abundance code or email me at effortlesslyabundantlife at gmail.com abundance code and uh, my team or myself, we will let you know if you're part of those 10. And if not, um, it's still going to be in a very good price. So Thank you guys so much for listening. I love you so, so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And just for today, just for fun, 
see if you can just follow what feels good to you. See if you can just spend time with yourself a little bit and learn to love yourself and just just be with yourself and see what will happen. So I can't wait to hear your opinions and your um, kind of reflections of that. And I'll talk to you guys.